rights. I want to assure Ugandans that Uganda observe the highest the highest level of human rights in this country, in the world. You, you, you've been seeing whatever is happening world over. People have been killed without any cause. But the killings in Uganda is related to those who don't want peace in the country. And that is when the, the, the security operatives come in. Several times, the Minister for Security, the CDF, and the Minister for Internal Affairs have come out to explain on certain scenarios of those people who have been caught wanting to disturb the peace of Ugandans. And if, there is, if at all you bring out a case, then it will be an issue of the security operatives to come here and explain. But you made it general, you did not specify. So I cannot really respond to a general question that does not have any um, reference. If it was referred to a certain case, then I would be able to respond all, call upon the security organ that is responsible to come here and respond. But I want to assure Ugandans that Uganda, Uganda responds at the highest level of human rights. We have everything that it takes to protect our people in Uganda. And those who want to violate human rights in Uganda are being no, held accountable by the government. There is nobody with, above the law. Whoever wants to disturb the peace of Uganda will be apprehended. That is what I can say. But if there is an example, then you can as well forward it and then I will refer to the organ concerned to come over and explain. Then for the live concert, as the ministry in charge of the independence and organizing this event, we are not aware of the live concert. And we are still observing the standard operating procedures. COVID is here with us. And it is still here with us. We don't know when we shall overcome the COVID. So whoever is staging a live concert, I don't know whether the media is aware. I don't, but as for me, who is organizing independence, I'm not aware. And nobody should do really stage a concert against the standard operating procedures. For us as government, we value the lives of Ugandans. We don't want anybody, anybody who is doing some, something contrary to what will touch the lives of Ugandans. So, as the organizing ministry, I'm not aware of the live concert. If there is any, then probably the organizer of the concert has gotten consent from the relevant authorities, but I'm not aware of that. And uh, let nobody, let nobody try to stage such a concert at a concert without getting relevant authorities. Um, I think those are the two questions. You normally want me to do Luganda. This uh, happened to her. Uh, he dug a hole into her, her bedroom and gained access. And it's from there that he started demanding for money. He was certain the lady had money. Uh, that uh, was totaling to 1.2 million. Of course, this lady was given conditions to either give in the money or lose uh, some of the children she was staying with. Uh, she had uh, three children inside the house, and uh, she opted to give in the money, which was 1.2. But uh, it is alleged that this gentleman, after getting the same money, said that he's not yet done with what exactly brought him in the house. So he opted to force himself on this lady, uh, that uh, by uh, raping her, uh, but uh, this lady also used, took a chance and uh, grabbed the knife that he actually ha had come with and uh, stabbed him. And so we have recorded statements from the neighbors who actually saw the man fleeing the house naked after being stabbed and uh, he later on died a few meters away from the house uh, and also the lady, we have also taken uh, forensic evidence which is going to be analyzed at our laboratories here in Wandegea, uh, which of course uh, show that uh, preliminarily it shows that this lady was actually raped and uh, the money was also recovered from the gentleman's trouser which he had put off and uh, we are actually into the investigation but she was uh, later on released because we evidence shows us that she was actually defending herself so 
basically that is what it is.